Welcome back to Broncos and Parts Garage. My name's Chris. If you're new to the channel, please stick around to the end. You'll see additional links for content we've already created and uploaded. We do have an extensive catalog of how-to videos available. Let's get to it today. So in front of me, I've got a brand new product. It's a bucket seat cushion for your captain's chair for the 92 through 96 Ford Bronco and F-Series trucks. It will not fit the 40-20-40 bench seat. It's a different cushion, a different uh, cushion profile. We're working on that right now. So stick around. We're gonna get some tools. We're gonna show you exactly what you need to get this old cushion off and install this new cushion. Let's get some tools and get started. The first thing you wanna do is remove the bucket seat from your vehicle. There's four fasteners that hold it in. There's two bolts in the front, they're 15 millimeter. There's two nuts in the back. Those are 15 millimeter as well. We use a deep well socket. We'll put links in the description for all the tools we use today. But again, we use a deep well because it fits over the stud in the back. On the front, we live in the rust belt. Uh, this is a really bad example, but these brackets were actually rusted. And when we removed them, they were rotted out. So we actually had to cut them off. If you have to do that, be careful. Don't break that bolt when you try to extract it. Take your time, use some penetrating oil. If you can, heat it up from underneath. Just make sure you have some water handy so you don't set your carpet or the padding or insulation on fire. In the back, you'll want to glide the seat forward to expose the two studs, remove the 15 millimeter nut. The next thing you'll want to do during the removal process is disconnect your lumbar uh, harness. I, don't, I hope you can see that right there. It's just a matter of thumbing it back or grabbing the tool, pulling the plug out. Then you can remove the seat and move on to the next step. Once you've got the bucket seat removed, the next thing you'll want to do is remove your plastic trim. This one was already broken, but there is a nylon fastener that goes in here. It's a number two Phillips. Take that out very carefully and don't lose it. Then there's two more number two Phillips screws. There's one here and there's one right here around the back side. This one's actually still stuck inside. You'll want to remove that trim piece and set it aside. As you can see, we've flipped the seat over. The next step will be removing the frame from the body of the chair. First thing you'll want to do is get your pry tool and pry the harness. This is your lumbar harness. Pry that harness off the seat frame and just kind of pull it off to the side. And again, this is kind of a bad example of the seat frame. A lot of the springs are, 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 are messed up in this, in this seat frame. That's why we're using it as our prototype here. All right, the next step, we'll be removing four 10 millimeter bolts. There's two on the bottom, two on the top. You will need to slide the frame rails down to expose these on the top. You'll have to do that by releasing the uh, adjustable mechanism that allows your seat to slide back and forth. So I'm gonna take these out right now. Start with the bottom, set these aside. You don't wanna lose these. If you do, hit me up. I do sell all these kind of trinkety parts. I'm gonna slide that down. And again, you'll have to hit a lever. This one's broken, so there's no lever. Take that. And again, take your time. A lot of this is old, a lot of old plastic. And if your seat frame is destroyed and rusted, as these were, that's why they're cut, I do sell the seat frames and the seat pans. So I'm trying not to make this commercial, but if you're getting this far into your truck and you need stuff, hit me up. So we'll take this and we'll set this aside. So what we've got now is the seat and the seat pan, but we still have to contend with your lumbar controls which are right here, and we've got to remove the back of the seat. So right now we're gonna disassemble your lumbar controls. So <clears throat> what I've done here, I use a small, a very small flathead screwdriver like you see here. Inside here, I don't know if you can zoom in here, there's a slot here and a slot here that you can pry the bottom of this panel out. This comes out underneath, there's two number two Phillips screws that will allow you to unscrew this and tuck it into the seat frame. On top, there's two little tabs that catch. So if you pry this out, take your time. If it breaks, you can hit me up again. We have them. I'm gonna tilt this back a little bit and I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hold that with my finger. I'm gonna do the next one like that. And then very carefully, I'm gonna pull that out. And there's the two tabs on the bottom. There's two tabs on the top. If you break one of these on the top, it'll still lock in, you'll never know. We're gonna set that aside. Once you've got the cover off, we're gonna take out these two Phillips screws. Be careful, you don't wanna strip these out. So let's back these out. Then you can also do this by hand. 
is this bit's really large to fit in there. And we're gonna keep this and set this aside. That one has some corrosion on it. All right. And we're gonna set this aside because obviously we're gonna need this to put it back together. Now, you wanna pull this out. The next step will be removing your lumbar bezel from your lumbar controls. Now inside here, and I'll show you after I take it apart, there's a little pin here and there's one on the other side. You'll wanna push in on this little pin while you're applying a little bit of pressure out and then it'll pop apart. And once I get it apart, it'll, it'll make it a lot simpler. I'll do the first one on camera here because the other one on this unit is broken. So we're gonna take the pick tool, we're gonna to push in right here very carefully and that slides apart. Now, this one was broken, not by me, by someone else. But that's what, the, that's, what the, that's what the clip looks like. It just slides on and when you reattach it, oops, sorry, that was the wrong way. When you slide, it's gonna pop back in. And again, get a pick tool. I'll put links in the a description below. Press down on that gently, pull that out. We're gonna set this aside. We made it through the first few steps. Now would be a great time to subscribe to the channel, maybe hit the notification bell so you're alerted when we release new content. The next thing we're gonna do is separate the seat back from the seat pan. We're not gonna worry about the lumbar controls right now as they don't fit through the seat frame. We're gonna kinda leave them loose here. There's two 47 millimeter Torx bolts right here and right here. We are not gonna mess with anything in the seat frame. We're gonna leave this attached. So I'm gonna get this, again, T47 Torque. I'm gonna back this out, save this, I'm gonna set it aside. Then we're gonna do the second one down here. And this is the driver, or the, excuse me, the door side. I'm gonna set that over there. I'm gonna turn this seat around. And you're gonna see this plastic bezel that covers the hinge on this side. We don't wanna slide this up. We don't wanna cut your fabric. Underneath here, there is going to be a Christmas tree type push pin. I'm gonna set this up and we're gonna get a different angle, just one second. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the armrest side hinge cover. Uh, it's made out of semi-brittle plastic. It's held in with a kind of a little lip around the hinge. And then underneath the fabric, which we're gonna push back, there is a push pin in here. We're gonna get our pry tool underneath there and gently pry that up. You can see a little Christmas tree pin. It's kind of brittle, guys, so just take your time. If you crack it, hit me up, I, I have these. Or you can get them at junkyards. You wanna just get that going and then slide it back like this and it'll just come right off like that. That's the lip I was talking about right there. And that's the hinge. We're gonna set this aside now. This is the last mechanical fastener between the seat pan and your seat back besides the cable and the lumbar air tubes. We're gonna, we're gonna take this screw, the bolt, and we're gonna set this aside. We've removed the mechanical fasteners between the seat pan and the, and the seat back. The only two things remaining now are your lumbar air lines, which we don't want to cut, and your armrest up cable. Now, a lot of people will cut this. What this cable does is simply raise the armrest up when the seat slides forward so it doesn't hit your shifter arm or steering wheel. When I sell used armrests, we always cut the cables anyway. But we don't want to do that. I'm guessing probably 95% of the people that buy this cushion are gonna be reusing their covers. So we are going to do this like you're reusing your cover. We are not gonna disconnect any of these lines or cables. So what you'll wanna do now is take the two pieces and lay them flat out of surface. Like you see here, we haven't severed the lumbar. We haven't severed the armrest up cable. Next thing we're gonna do is take this cover off. Let's get this cover off. It's held on with these J hooks. It's really just a matter of prying these back. You can see there's a lip. I like to do each side, like you see here. It's gonna be a lot harder to put the new cushion on because it's not gonna be oxidized and flattened out. We're gonna do the front right now. Again, be careful. There's a lot of sharp, rusty, <laughs> rusty metal in here. And the last one right here, we're gonna pop that up. It's not gonna be this easy to put the seat cushion cover back on. The last clip you'll see here is actually attached to the foam. We did not include this because it was just part of the manufacturing process. As a matter of fact, you're gonna see tape <laughs> on the rest of this that we're not gonna use. So we're kinda gonna just bust this off or pry this clip off. You don't have to, but it just comes right off. 
Now we're gonna slowly just peel this cushion back. Watch your lumbar control, just poke it through. And we're gonna roll this back. Be careful, guys, this is 25, 26 years old. Or, see, there's the tape I was talking about. I'm just gonna slowly peel this back. You don't wanna rip your covers. I do sell them, <laughs> but you don't wanna buy mine. So we're gonna slowly roll this back, like you see here. Again, you still have that cable through there. We're just gonna roll it back on this side. Roll that back. Keep going here. You don't wanna tear this. It might tear, you never know. So we've got it pretty, pretty loose right now. Now we've got the cover off. We're gonna turn the camera off. We're gonna flip this over and continue. Okay, we've got it flipped over. You're gonna slowly go in here and you're gonna double check. There's some Velcro in here. You're gonna kind of hold down your foam, make sure you don't tear any of the Velcro off your fabric and just slowly roll this back. If your Velcro tears off your cushion, who cares? This is all old and oxidized anyway. Now, as I said earlier, there's some tape under here. You're gonna pull, you're gonna pull this tape down right here on the front. And there's one on the side. You're gonna gently lift this up. It's gonna be stuck. I think there's another piece of tape over here. No, there isn't. Okay, so there's your old seat cushion. We've got it off. Again, Ford used black tape. We're not going to use any type of tape because we're doing this and we're not doing it on an assembly line or wherever they built these. So we're going to take this. Yeah, this one was built March 1st, 1996. And we're going to discard this. So we've got our seat cushion and these fit driver and passenger side. You can see this kind of a witness mark right here and there's one on the other side. This is for driver or passenger lumbar controls. We are working on a driver's seat, so we're gonna leave this passenger side alone or the one facing the passenger side. And we're gonna cut out this notch right here with a razor knife for these lumbar controls. It's very simple. I have yet to do this, so this is my first time too, but it's pretty straightforward. I don't cut one of my fingers off. Mm -hmm. And hopefully your cuts will be a little cleaner, cleaner than mine. After you're done cutting it out, you'll wanna set this down. Make sure everything goes around your lumbar controls. The cushion's basically gonna fall into place. Why don't you come around the other side here? You wanna make sure that you've got this covered, nothing's hung up, and you wanna make sure this edge of the cushion is on the inside of that mounting point. Other than that, we're all set to put the cover back on. Okay, we're gonna get the cover back on. If you look at the back of your cover, there's some Velcro. Not a lot of Velcro, but it'll line up with the Velcro that's in the foam. That's why there's two strips here, one for the Eddie Bauer, one for the XLT. You wanna take this right here, these three. You wanna pull it, kinda of wanna line this one up to the center of that Velcro tab. And then you wanna make sure that these Velcros, these line up here, these line up here, and kinda of pull it into place and keep this cover turned inside out and start just sliding it forward like you see me doing right here. When you get it, you wanna make sure it looks straight. You might have to do this one or two times. Um, again, I've only done it one other time. You wanna keep double checking. Then you wanna slowly work these corners over. And again, keep double checking. Make sure that you keep those lines straight. You don't want crooked lines on your seat cushion. If you have to, roll it over to an edge so you can get some pressure on the cover. You start to roll that over. Again, it helps if you have someone helping you. I don't, I have someone filming me. <laughs> but you wanna get this down and pull it. This seat cushion was molded after an original, so it's probably stretched and worn. It's probably used to the smaller cushion, but this is the OEM size cushion. So we've basically got most of that in place. You wanna make sure that these trenches and the seams aren't being pulled up. And as you can see, these are being held in place fairly well. And again, I can't stress to pull these down as hard as you can without tearing anything. And again, I think this one was tore mm -hmm. because the seat adjustability lever came up before I bought this truck and cut into it. You know, the lever to make your seat go back and forth had already cut into it. So grab that. And again, you wanna pull down, just keep massaging it down. You wanna do it on the side, come around here. And again, I'm gonna get it on the side. You can move that back a little bit. Get that down. Remember, it doesn't cover up your hinge spots. We're gonna tuck this through the fabric hole right here so we have it here. 
All right, so we'll play with that in a minute. But right now, <clears throat> let me get this through the hole. Right now, we're gonna turn the camera off and we're gonna flip this all the way over again. All right, we've got the cover mostly on. What you should do, and what we're not gonna show on camera, is get a buddy, have one person get on this side, one person get on this side, without tearing the fabric, push, grab this plastic and push that way while someone else pushes this way. That'll help seat your cover, it'll help orientate and seat the foam. Then you wanna have someone grab the back if they can, grab this and then push towards one another. That'll stretch this and help it get back into place. So the first thing I'm gonna do are the sides. These are fairly simple, especially when you're doing one, you're gonna just snap that over, that's installed. We're gonna come around the other side. I'm gonna push this and pull it. I'm making this look really easy, <laughs> but you're gonna have a little bit of trouble when you get to the uh, front and the back. So let's do the back real quick. Again, make sure it looks even. Make sure that your cable's covered. You haven't disconnected any of your lumbar. You just got your harness out and all your uh, lumbar wire. So I'm gonna take this, roll it and snap that in place. And again, very simple. Now we'll do the front of the seat. We do this one last because it's the hardest. It does have a different profile for this actual J-hook. It's gotta go all the way around and catch. So bear with me here. Let me get this here. This one goes all the way over like this. This is the one I've always had the trouble with. There, I got that one. That looks good. So far, this looks fantastic. Right now, we're, we're gonna flip this over and take a look at it from the top. We're not gonna show you how to put this all back together because it's fairly simple. Just remember the steps or watch the video. You're gonna wanna put your switches back together, your bezel on. You're gonna reattach the two bolts on this side, the uh, T47, a T47 on the other side, and then you're gonna use the two, or excuse me, the four 10 millimeter bolts to reattach your frame. Thanks for sticking around this long in the video. Let's take a look at your new cushion. So it's made with a firmer compound than Ford used. It's gonna eliminate you from smashing your lumbar support or the plastic trim that's supposed to go on the bottom of your bucket seat. This one was probably cracked from people sliding in and out of the truck. You wanna make sure that you keep these seams uh, even on both sides. You wanna make sure that they stick inside these trenches and the Velcro attaches. The longer you sit on it, the more it's gonna bed that Velcro down. If you have any puckering up, it just means that you're out of alignment and you need to take this off and redo it. You wanna make sure that seams line up on the edge so you get even wear on your cushion. We're very, very happy with the fit and finish. And again, it's available for passenger and driver. It's the same cushion. You just have to notch out your lumbar controls on either side. If you wanna buy one of the cushions, all of my contact information will be below in the video description. If you don't know how to get to the description, just click on the title. It'll say more, click on it again. If you have any comments or questions, hit me up. My email address is in there as well. We'll see you next time.